I'm moving around to get the camera ready, to find the right seat, to do all this stuff until I woke the dog up. Whenever he hears anything out of the ordinary, not in the routine of things, he gets up. So hopefully he won't start barking because I started talking. But anyway, welcome friends. Welcome to another studio life vlog. And in today's vlog, I'm going to be uh, just showing you what I've been doing the past two weeks. Um, uh, the Christmas program that I told you about in the last vlog. And then after that, I, I go in the studio and start prepping a tiny bit, a little bit for springtime, Easter, and can't wait to show you what I'm doing. I'll give you a sneak peek of what I'm doing. Um, and then um, prepping for a big baking marathon here in the kitchen. So you're gonna see a lot of me baking in the kitchen. Um, I've spent Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday almost all day every day uh, baking and uh, my back ached like no other time. It, it was so bad but it was so nice to be able to uh, be done for the day and sit down and rest it and of course a good night's sleep helped, helped it so I did a lot of baking and so I did some taping um, oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. And it's going to, the dog is right here. He's going to get scared and run off. Oh, okay. I won't sneeze. But, um, but yeah, after the baking, I just wrapped things up, getting ready to head out. And, um, just wanted to wish you all a very merry, blessed Christmas and New Year, friends. And thanks so much for your support, for your encouragement, for all your comments, for all the friends I've made. It is so neat and so much fun. I enjoy doing this so much. And I hope you enjoy what I have to show you, what I have to offer. And, um... I'm looking forward to this next year, looking forward to what the Lord has in store, looking forward to what comes. So I've got ideas. And oh, to t let you know, yesterday I was a little discouraged because I would use two SIM cards and my iPhone to record. And come to find out that one of the SIM cards, I believe, is kind of faulty because... Um, Whenever I would use that SIM card and upload film to iMovie, um, and you know that little uh, progressive wheel that shows you that it's uploading, and then it goes... <sighs> and there he goes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it tickles. And so... Um, the progressive wheel told me it was done uploading. So th what do you do? What do you usually do? Uh, when you're done with the SIM card, you take it out and you exchange it for the, another one, the, the next one. I've been doing that for years. So um, every time I used that SIM card and it told me that it, everything was uploaded and I removed it, I would go back into iMovie to start working on editing and uh, it would show me that it didn't uh, upload those frames and it would have like a big black question mark with a frame throughout the whole uh, line of, of film uh, in iMovie. And um, I lost a lot of footage that way because I ended up deleting everything on my SIM card because I usually, that's my routine. I usually clean it up uh, when it's full and that's what I did. And now I can't go back and, and, and get uh, the footage. So I lost a lot of film. What I was planning to do for next uh, year. and um, I'll, But I'll show you that in January. I just figured that, you know, it's not really a, too big of a loss. But uh, yeah, I lost a lot of footage. And um, I was able to salvage what you're going to watch. So let's go ahead and start on this Studio Life vlog. And thanks for coming, friends. And we will see you probably in the next year. So take care. God bless. Love you. And uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.
friends. I'm just finding out that the theme for tonight's program is retro 50s, Route 66, right up my alley. Oh my goodness. Let me show you the stage right now. I'm going to bring you my iPad here and show you how what I am excited what I've been doing. I, I wanted to uh, draw a diva girl from back in the 40s or 50s. Uh, let me go to Pinterest. This one here. Okay, here she is. Here. Okay. So when I saw her, I thought, okay, I'm going to draw her, but in a different dress. It's not going to be Christmassy. I am already starting to think about spring or Easter. So I thought, what outfit can I draw on, on this, this girl? And so this, guys, wait for it. It is so cute. I am so excited about it. Look at her. So this, this is the one I drew. I'm not done with her. I'm still working on her. But look at I am just so tickled pink the way she's coming out. Pink dress with black polka dots, pink shoes, high heels, and the big beautiful bow there in the middle. She's holding some tulips. She's got some flowers adorning her head. And she's got some pearl a pearl necklace on. And in the basket, I'm going to, I was going to put Easter eggs, but I instead, I'm going to put these flowers on there. So, so yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. And I am having so much fun. Well, these are going to be faith-based, maybe cards, prints, and that's it. That's what I've done. So right now, I'm going to finish working on her. I'm gonna go ahead and start making a, a grocery list. And I've got to go back to some recipes in my old blog, not vlog, but blog. It was my cooking blog. And that's where I've listed a lot of uh, Christmas recipes, especially um, the chocolate bonbons from grandma's recipe, my mother-in-law's. She made those every Christmas and the kids and my hubby loved them. Looked forward to them every year. So, um, I've tried to carry on the tradition even though I have not made them 
since my hubby's last Christmas. I need to make those. I'm gonna make some Finnish bula bread. Oh, it's got that beautiful, wonderful, aromatic Christmas, Christmassy spice called um, cardamom in it. I don't wanna make the candy canes. My husband loved the candy cane cookies, but golly, they were hard to make in regards to this recipe because you would have to twist the white dough with the red dough and then curve it around to make the cane. But every time the dough always fell apart on me and oh, it was so hard to put together and somehow I mustered through it and um, they weren't perfect candy cane cookies, but he loved them anyway. But they, they were good. I think, believe they have like an almond flavor in them, which is really delicious. Maybe I can just make them flat round ones, right? <laughs> I'll cheat. So, okay, I need to go to my old blog and pull up the recipes and then uh, write down what ingredients I need. So I'm going to be doing that for the next hour. So, um, what I'm going to make for Christmas are double mint squares. Bula bread, cranberry, orange, almond cookies, Grandma Cole's chocolate bonbons, and Grandma Cole's coconut creamy chocolate bonbons. And um, what I'm going to do now first is I'm going to print out my pla event planning guide. And although I'm not having the event here at my house, it will help me break down my grocery list and the recipes and to make sure that I have everything. So I've got it up here ready to print and I'm going to print it in color just because it's Christmas. So yes, if you need help with um, breaking down your menu and your menu items to put it onto a shopping list, this guide is for you. Here is the grocery list. You can fold it in half. If you print it on cardstock, it's easier to handle. Done. There she is. Friends, it's getting dark out. It's pouring rain. Let me show you what I just did. So I wrote down all the items that I needed. And then underneath it, the ingredients. Here we go. The breakdown of all the menu items. So I transferred all this that I need onto my, onto my grocery list. So now I'm going to get on walmart.com and place my order. Hey friends, a little tip when it comes to baking. Um, I have to buy almond extract. And when you go to buy that flavoring in the liquid form, never buy imitation because it may smell like exactly like vanilla extract, almond extract, but it's not. And then when it hits the heat, the chemicals change and it just changes the flavor completely. And you don't get the uh, flavor of the almond or of the vanilla. So it's expensive, yes, but it's worth it. So if you're into baking and you want to be a better baker, don't buy imitation anything. Buy either vanilla extract or almond extract. I'm no scientist, I can't tell you specifically. As long as the, the container says on it, 100% pure vanilla extract or 100% pure almond extract. Get that. Never get the imitation. You're welcome.
you. This is the best zester I've ever had. There's a little plug-in for Pampered Chef. Half of you, which would be you on this side. This is going to be the bottom layer. And it's going to turn it into chocolate. Or it's going to be brown. We'll top it off with some peppermint candies. It's such a pretty, pretty festive dessert. Treat. Okay. Wait for 35 minutes. I'm going to add some corn syrup to it. it. Looks like something that you'd make for the Grinch, huh? We should call it the Grinch cake. <laughs> Watch this, friends. This is what the paper is for. Don't fall. Maybe it's good that it's hot because it'll spread easier. Perfect. Now look at this, friends. When it cools off, I'm going to cut it into little squares. Oh, perfect. So, okay, we're going to make our first cut. I'm excited. Cute. Look at that.
Oh yeah. That is pretty. <laughs>